Dear colleagues, a routine FECO should not take more than six minutes. If you spend more time inside entry chamber, the turbulence of fluid is going to cause a lot of endothelial cell loss. So the quicker you do, the safer surgery you perform. This is a routine fecal emulsification procedure. By this time, the main incision has been made. This is a side port on the right side of the main incision. This is another one on the left side of the main incision. Now, capsulorexis is to be done. I incise the capsule with a 26 case bent needle and raise a capsular flap which is easy to hold with a uterata forceps. I then use the uterata forceps, go anticlockwise and do the rexis. And I don't hold the eyeball with any tooth forceps. I just support with a cotton tipped butt, cotton tipped Jensen butt. Here it is. The rexis is done. This is a continuous curvilinear capsular axis. Now hydro dissection is done. The fluid wave is passed just underneath the anterior capsular rim and I see that the fluid goes to the other side then a depress and the fluid comes anteriorly along the equator. Rotate the nucleus and that's it. Now is the time to manage the nucleus with ultrasonic emulsification. This is a Oatly Catrex 3 FECO machine. The easy tip is marvelous. The hold is very good and there is virtually no wound burn. Hold the nucleus firmly and chop the nucleus. That's it. Rotate the nucleus, chop it at another place. This free nuclear fragment can be taken out. Hold it here. This free fragment is also removed. In this case, the FECO power is 60%, flow rate is 45 ml per minute, vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury in Oatly Cataracts 3 FECO machine. Settings are different in different machines. This is the last fragment I come out and single-handedly I manage the last fragment of the nucleus. I usually use a Simco cannula to remove the cortical lens matter. If you are comfortable, you can use anything else like coaxial IA or a bimanual IA. The Simco cannula is actually a coaxial IA. So the cortical lens matter is being removed. A lot of cells stick to the posterior capsule that can be polished just only by the irrigating fluid of the bimanual IA. That's it. The cortex is removed. In this case, we have selected a hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens. This patient belongs to our free category service and we use hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lenses for these patients. These are very good lenses. Only thing is PCO rate is high but the lens remains clear. There is no issue of glistenings, microvacuole formation inside the lens. This lens is from Apasami Associates. This is moxifloxacin. Now I hydrate the side ports with BSS, balanced salt solution. 
after hydrating the side ports a final lavage is given so that pure bss i don't like any particle in the entire chamber just remove it and conclude the case thank you very much for your attention